skincare time. I didn't wear makeup today, but I did put on a bit of mascara because I got a lash lift. I'm going to use the Anua Heartleaf Pore Control Cleansing Oil just to take that off real quick. This is one of my favorite cleansing oils. It just works so well. Doesn't burn my eyes. Doesn't leave a residue. Should have done this first because I'm just getting cleansing oil in my hair. Skin Fix Foaming Oil Cleanser. I was supposed to use a Razzle yesterday and I skipped it because my skin was just feeling a little bit upset. It's always like that for me during allergy season when my hay fever is acting up or like seasonal allergies, whatever you call it. My skin gets so sensitive, so reactive. And on days where I'm sneezing a lot or just like really congested, my skin gets really irritable. <laughs> was like that yesterday and I realized while I was washing my face and putting my products on that it didn't feel right and I didn't think it was going to be the right call to use my retinoid so I skipped it but today I'm all good so I'm going to use it. The breakouts I was dealing with mostly here have also calmed down quite a bit. For the last few days they were just feeling really raised and the skin around there was feeling pretty irritated but now it feels flat. They're healing. Prequel Universal Skin Solution. I do let this dry before going in with the rest of my skincare. I need to look back on my comments because I feel like I saw someone saying that you don't need to let it dry. They said they were like a cosmetic chemist. I need to double check. I went like perfume window shopping today and these two perfumes from Guerlain, I am obsessed. This one is Creole Beluga and this one is Spiritueuse Double Vanille. Absolutely delicious, but the price on these? I'm just gonna go smell them whenever I need a fix. This one was also delicious, but it doesn't have the name on it. I just remember it was like a little bottle that looked different than the other ones. I just looked it up. It's called Vanille Planifolia. And just for reference, this is 50 ml and it's $775 Canadian plus tax. Out of those three though, Spiritueuse Double Vanille is absolutely my favorite, but it's also pricey. Back to skincare. Anua Heartleaf Soothing Toner. I feel like I don't actually talk about it and show it much, but I do put all my skincare on my neck. I just don't show everything in my videos because it would take a really long time. I give this a week and a half that I'm done trying something new. Dr. Surical. This one is also almost done and I don't know who I'm kidding because I really think that I'm going to end up ordering another one really soon. I want to try other products, but there are just some products that I know my skin absolutely loves and does so well on. And this is one of them. I have this much left. I give it like a week. Mirad Cellular Hydration Repair Serum. I use my serums, my toners, my essences as a sandwich method. It's the first layer in my sandwich. I go in with my Tret and then I use my moisturizer after. That's what works for me. I've had people argue with me in the comments saying that that's not actually sandwiching method and it's not actually a buffer, but it makes a difference in my skin. Gonna let this all dry down for a few minutes just so that I don't end up putting my Arazzo on wet, damp skin. This is Arazzo Tazeratine Lotion. This is a third generation retinoid. It's supposed to be better than Tret with less irritation for some people. That's been my experience so far. It's been way easier to use. My skin has responded really well and it's helped with fading some scarring I had a lot quicker than Tret was. If you use Tret, you can use my Arazzo routines exactly the same way but just swap out the Arazlo for Tret. Something I really like about this is the consistency. It's like a cream lotion. I do like to split it up and just dot it on my face to make sure I get like even coverage all over my face. I don't put it on my chin just because it can trigger perioral dermatitis, but I do put it everywhere else. It spreads so nicely. It doesn't feel thick. It's definitely not as irritating as Gel Tret was for me. Also less irritating than Cream Tret was. I didn't have a hard time with Cream Tret. It was definitely much easier than Gel Tret was, but I find that this one is even more gentle. Again, I let that dry, absorb for about 10 minutes before moisturizer. A new Intense Calming Cream, as always. I'm gonna put a bit on my chin first because this is where I didn't put any Arazlo and the rest of my face. I put it on my chin first just to make sure I don't end up spreading the Arazlo there. But honestly, as with most retinoids, it does move around your face. It's a bit inevitable, but I try to do what I can to minimize it. Bedtime perfume. This is Dream Musk. This was sent to me from La Dia Boutique and it is so insanely delicious and gorgeous. This is like a melony 
musky, fruity, soft, clean smelling kind of scent. These oils are super concentrated, very powerful. So you literally do not even need that much. Just gonna put a bit here, bit here, my wrist. That's enough. This is literally so stunning. I need to find out if it comes in perfume form. I just wanna smell like this all the time. Skincare done, I'm going to bed. Any questions, drop them in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow.